Can anybody see us? I guess we're on. Oh, it is. It says live. Uh oh. We got some. Um. Oh, what does that mean, Rebecca? We got echo. We got echo. Let what? me see. No, my phone's not signed in. Let me see. Let me fix I it. I just turned mine off. But... Okay, how about now? Okay, that fixed it, Rebecca. <laughs> I'm so glad my, my daughter's able to. Uh, hey, Cindy Rice. Hey, Allison. I don't know what we're going to talk about today. I have no idea. You can come closer to me. We married. Okay. For a long time. For a long time. Let's see. We got, we got five people here. Hey, Julia. How are you? What are you saying? Oh, right I see here. it. I see it. And... I don't think you can see the. Can you? Oh yeah, you yeah. can see it. So let me see what I can do about that. Keep your head like this. Keep my head down. So <laughs> my channel show. That's gonna be. That ain't happening. Hmm. Oh. Well, what? We'll let a few more people get on here. Hopefully, it just may be us, Allison, Cindy, and Julia, and me and Chris. I don't know. I advertised. I'm telling you. There were probably some people that just hung around just because they felt sorry for us last time. <laughs> Bless her heart. Sympathy. sympathy. Yeah, sympathy. Now, I will say we're up to 400 and oh, 493. We got seven more. We need seven more subscribers <clears throat> until we reach 500. And then we need 500 more. <laughs> so we need 507. Whatever. 500. Well, we're just going to get to the first goal. Okay. 500. Okay. And then we're going to get to um, 1,000. All right. What are we going to talk about? I don't know. I'm waiting for some more people to come on. Oh, okay. What? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Fix that, Rebecca. Technical I, problems here. I knew I shouldn't have. Do I have, do you have your YouTube plaque yet? What's that mean, Allison? <laughs> Was I supposed to get something? Oh, Lord, am I being illegal? No. I think you got to get a certain amount. Huh? I, don't I don't know. I don't know that. Help us out, Allison. What's that mean? Because if, if I'm doing something illegal, I'm going to shut this baby down. You're not doing anything illegal. I'm not going to jail. I won't no, do I won't do well there. You blame it on me. Rebecca said that somehow I have two live streams going. Hey Susie from Indiana. Let's see. All right, Cindy, come on back. We're gonna be here hopefully. <laughs> and while you're out, tell your friends. <laughs> we losing them, huh? <laughs> Y'all don't go anywhere. Come, come on back. Did you fix it, Rebecca? Somehow I've made two live streams. I hope I'm on the right one. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. Start talking. I know. Don't don't rush don't me. Wait. Don't, don't wait. rush me. You're gonna make me nervous. Hey Marianne from New England, Massachusetts. Did I say that right? I said I shouldn't even try that word. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry you weren't feeling too good, Allison. Hopefully you're feeling better by now. <clears throat> while we while we wait, let me show you this cup here. This is one of the cups my son made. He blows glass. Did I tell you all that? Blows glass. Now. Uh, before you say anything, oh, you want to say that name? Jackie? 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 Jackie. I was so glad you found us, Jackie, because I was getting worried that I'd run everybody off last time. But my son makes, he blows glass. Hey, Tina. And I was going somewhere with that, but I, I just forgot. What I, was I know you're talking about the glass blowing. Oh, Eli, yes. Blowing. 
Hey, Sylvia. I'm so glad you're here. Sylvia's one of my Facebook friends. I'm trooping down with probably Ken because she got the last name Forbes and my mama <laughs> was a Forbes. Yeah. Sylvia, did you tell all the Forbes down there? <laughs> Sign on. I got to retire. Well, actually, he does because I don't work. Hey, Rhonda. <laughs> <laughs> all right. You better start talking. Okay. Let me start talking. <clears throat> now, some of y'all may already know this, but um, did I say hey to Rhonda already? I don't know if I did or not. Hey, Rhonda, if I didn't. This week, we had a scare. Was it yesterday? Yeah, I guess so. If you're talking about, okay. Yeah. Um, it we, wasn't a scare to me. Well, it was a scare. He was up there where he's building a shed so that we can park Ruby the golf cart and the lawnmower and, you know, some of the stuff we got strode all over this yard. We're going to put that under the shed. And I look up and he is, he is falling out of the top of the, um, what are you going to call that thing? Attic. A little attic. Kind of like that. Like a little attic thing. I'm, I'm going to do a video on the building of that. But um, anyway, so he's, he's falling out. And I don't know how he did it, but he actually grabbed a hold of a, a board and he's hanging like this. Oh, that's a not very pleasant. He's hanging like this. <laughs> Don't want to root on the oh. crust. And the only thing I can say is because he has strong arms, he was able to fall and grab at the same time. And and I'm over there like a knot on a log. You know, I don't, I just froze. And he, he yes, just. He definitely locked up. I did. I, I I did. I um I I thought he died, but he um. Uh, I was dangling on that board like a worm on a hook, yeah. and I said, "Honey, did you bring the the ladder?" Did the ladder up. I really didn't fall. The ladder fell. It went in a hole, I guess, in in the ground, and the ladder flipped over. Of course, I just grabbed a hold where I wouldn't fall because there was a lot of stuff under me. But I said, "Honey, come bring me the ladder." And I'm hanging here. <laughs> it, 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 you know, it shook me. It was like, oh, yeah, okay, I'll go, you know, I guess the, the nursing skills kicked in, and I tried to save him. Like a minute later. Yeah. <laughs> I'm hanging up there. <laughs> if you hadn't caught yourself, I'd have just fainted right there. Probably so. But now, that's not the only time he's fell. No. Now, let me tell you about this time. Well, I'm going to let him tell you. Yeah, mm. you go ahead. You well, or you want me to? Oh, yeah, I guess. Okay. I'll start. You yeah. Hit them. Okay. Oh, it's probably been what twenty years ago. We were on the farm, and uh, it was a late afternoon, and it was at a local school that the maintenance men wouldn't work on the air conditioning. The first thing is it's twenty five foot up in the air. The other thing, it's four eighty volts, which did, doesn't bother me if you know if I know what I got. So anyway, I run in there and uh, and the ladder was already leaned up against the unit, like 22, three foot up in the air. It's in the, it was in the uh, gym. gym, yeah, basketball courts. And uh, I run up that ladder and the first thing I did, I reached to kill the disconnect, which kills the 480 volt before I could check it. Well unbeknownst to me was the ladder wasn't really long enough because the unit moved and slid about a foot and the ladder run out of places to hold and i went down with the ladder and about 10 foot from the ground i decided i didn't want my legs through the ladder so i jumped off of it i landed like a gymnast i said i'm good you know well first and he was hanging up there in the top of the yeah, the gym. Like the yeah. ceiling. Yeah. About, I don't know, 15, 20 seconds. I broke out in a cold sweat and I'm like, uh oh, something ain't right. One of the few days I've ever worn soccer, I mean, not soccer, hiking boots. Uh -huh. My regular steel toe boots was wet or something the day before, the, from that morning when I left. And it was a good thing because I, I really, it hurt my knees and my back and everything else, but 
I just come on to the house and she had to take the angled nursing scissors to cut the shoestrings off the hiking boots when I got home. And I ended up, I broke both ankles. Broke I both mean, ankles. No, no, heel bones. Heel bones, yeah. Heel bones, I'm like. I don't know why he did not just fall out and call 911 because we could be sitting in a pretty penny right now. But no, you got to come on home. Because Don't tell nobody. Come on home. As my grandma said, that's ill gotten gains. Well, we'd be <laughs> ill gotten gains on the cruise ship somewhere. No, I'm just kidding. We, no, we ain't never sued nobody. But anyway, I, I just felt like it was a lesson I didn't really get hurt besides breaking both my heel bone. Now, from the school to the country is a pretty good ways. Remember, we had the cow farm. It, it was out in the country. Probably 15 miles. Country. So he drove with those um, broken hills. Now, I'm going to preface the second part of this story by saying I remember my mother talking about her daddy, and they lived on a farm. Mother lived in a log cabin for many years growing up in the, on the farm. So they mother picked cotton. I mean, she picked cotton, and they had a... um. She, you know, they had a buggy and a wagon, and once and only once did I think it was a hog that my papa killed there. Now, I don't know why they didn't harvest their own meat. I, I don't know. But mother said that when that hog was up to dry or whatever you got to do to the hog hanging the meat yeah that all the animals come up and started staring at my papa and my papa <laughs> thought you know he he said mama said that was the last time that papa killed a hog because all the animals came up to mourn its loss <laughs> now i preference that because i'm going to tell you something that happened now while he, you know, he come home and I had to cut the, the shoestrings off to get because his feet's already swelling. And I take him to the doctor and we come home. Now, he has been instructed to prop his feet up for a little while. And he does not prop his feet up good. He can't stand sitting in the house. So anyway, I being the wife, the loving wife, the nurse. I went and I got a bucket of, you know, snacks and stuff and set it right there by his recliner. Now, the snacks, there was assortment, I don't know, circus peanuts, uh, those orange, those candied orange slices, uh, you know, regular peanuts, just whatever I could uh, think that to keep him still so he could watch TV. And I have you know, he ate that whole bag <laughs> of candied orange slices. Y'all know what I'm talking about, those orange slices, jelly, the jelly type things. He ate the whole bag that afternoon. The whole bag. Now, let me tell you this. If you don't know what a whole bag of candy slices will do to your intestines, I'm fixing to tell you. So if you might be a little queasy, just go ahead and just sign on off, mute it or whatever. We were, I don't know if I had taken the kids to gymnastics and I come back and you could hear it sounded like a dying cow had been, had come into the bathroom. And it was so loud that our 125 acres of cattle come up to the house. They were mourning the loss of what they thought was a cow. <laughs> and he was he was in there, help me, Vicky. I was well, you know, I didn't study this in nursing school. I don't know what to do if you eat two pounds of orange slices. <laughs> and needless to say, he has not touched an orange slice since nope. then. 20-something mm -mm. years. 20-something years. He has not touched an orange slice. But it was, it was, you know, we. I, it's like, Chris, look at all the cows out there. They staring at the house. What are you doing in there? He said, I'm dying. That's what I'm doing. I'm dying. A slow death. But needless to say, he survived. He won't eat another orange slice. In fact, he didn't stay in the recliner long. Uh, in fact, our 
Sunday school class at the time. We were upstairs. It was a two-story um, building. We were upstairs, and they had to move the entire Sunday school class downstairs because he would not sit at home. <laughs> you know, you could you could sit at home some, but no, no. So they yeah. they moved the entire Sunday school class downstairs so that we could attend. Yeah. And I don't think there's nothing you can do for Broken Hills. Just no. Yeah, I don't know. That's well, we bought the farm from an orthopedic surgeon. Oh yes. Yeah. He, he said stay off of it for a, ten days. I think it was. He didn't make ten days. He didn't make ten days. About off. three days. Yeah. After he covered from the near death experience that he had, he didn't stay. He didn't stay in the recliner that long. <laughs> Let's see. What are we going to talk about? Oh, I got my radio today. I haven't opened the package. You know, I don't know if, if you caught last week or what, but we've been reading that book called One Second After, and I've read it, and I've been waiting for him to catch up so I can, you know, talk. And he, he sat down and read like 100 pages the first time, and he he agrees with me. We need to, you know, yeah. Hi, Sandra. We need to um do a little more prepping, you know. And, and I I'm going to say, I think my mama was a prepper. She was a trailer park prepper. And the I don't reason think they had preppers. Back well, the reason I say that was, um, well, I'm just going to go ahead and say it. My daddy was a drinking man. So therefore, sometimes funds was limited. So mama found out this, you know, Kroger's in Laurel. Now we live in Hattiesburg and Laurel is the next, another town over. I don't know how many miles, 30, 30 miles. 30 miles. Well, look, they had a Kroger in Laurel and mama found out that you could, um, they have coupons and sometimes they would double the coupons and triple the coupons. And mother would load us up in the Volkswagen and we would take what little money we had and go up there. Now you think, well, 30 miles, you just wasted money. No, because the Volkswagen, you can go all the way from here to California on a tank of gas and a Volkswagen. So anyway, we'd go up there and you know, we'd get, three bottles of shampoo for a dollar and, you know, all kind of good, good deals. And then we'd come back and that's what we'd have. Well, and as I say, mother can make wonders out of water and flour. But anyway, I, one day I got to looking at the bottle of that shampoo and I don't know, like the second, third, fourth ingredient in that bottle of shampoo, that three for a dollar with the coupon uh, was formaldehyde. <laughs> And I hollered out the door. Huh? I hollered out the door to mom. I said, Mom, I done figured out why that smartness skipped a generation. You done dumbed down your kids with this formaldehyde. We washing our hair two and three times a week with formaldehyde, mother. I said, <laughs> if I, you know, somebody better start checking see if I got a bald spot back there, because I don't know what formaldehyde's gonna do. But I said, can't we can't we just, you know, scrounge up a dollar more and have something that's not a science experience on our head? <laughs> But that's just life in the trailer park. <clears throat> life in the trailer park. Yeah. Dark chocolate. Uh, I, I don't eat sweets. <laughs> Lightning. She's the script. <laughs> that may not be the truth. You know, I'm such a healthy example of, uh, <laughs> of the epitome of health right here. Yeah, let's see what else we got. You got any questions, Rebecca? Not right now. Not right now? Well, somebody wrote some questions out. Watch out the loud. Oh, well, um, <clears throat> honestly, I went through a, I, Dan Karen was my favorite author, and, and his was, and John Grisham, and yours was Louis, Louis Lamore. Is that what it is? Louis Lamore. Louis Lamore. But then for years, I, you know, years. I'm kind of phased through that, but I, I still like his books. You know? I kind, you know, I'm I went through a I don't know if it was just the time of life or I was busy or I don't know. I I, I call myself having a writer's block, so I also had a reader's block. I, <laughs> I stopped reading. I just stopped, but now I picked up that book one second after, and um, <clears throat> I just went through that. That was just really, really good. Yeah. You yeah. used to say you wanted to live in the village that Jan Karen wrote about. Oh, Mitford. Yes. I wanted to live there. I dreamed I lived there. My whole world revolved around Mitford. 
I called it the Mitford series, but that, that was good. And then there's a, there's a local author named Ramona Bridges. Now I, I've read her books and they're pretty good too. I don't know. I got a bunch of books back there, but it's mostly Grisham and mine. Every once in a while, I'll grab one of mine and I'll read it. And I was like, geez, that was pretty good. <laughs> Why ain't I rich? <laughs> yeah. Buy the books. Yeah. He wants to retire. Let's see. Fisherman Tail. Yes, it was. What now? I don't know. I really like this Mitford. Yeah, Sylvia. I do too. It was, it's, you know, I do think I could go back through them. I could go back through them all. Yeah. Let's see what else. Oh, do you guys watch the Golden Girls? I used to. He don't. He didn't. No. And I don't watch a whole lot of, my, my TV that I watch is, YouTube and Netflix and Monday and Tuesday we do um, the voice. Now, if sometimes sometimes if Janice is on Tuesday nights, then you know we tape or what do you call it? Record. We record the voice on our TV and um, watch it. You know later that night or the next day. Yeah. 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 How many siblings do you have? I bet get together. Yes, I have. Um, I have a. I'm the oldest, and then my brother Bill is 16 months younger than me, and then my sister Terry, the princess. Um, I I don't know how that happened because Billy and I grew up dirt, dirt, dirt poor, and my sister somehow is royalty. She's treated <laughs> like royalty from the day she got here. She was petted, and she got her way. You know, me and Billy. We'd be sitting in the back seat and Terry be in the front seat of that boat so I can eat moon pies and don't don't let us take the bite of one. Oh, absolutely <laughs> not. But she Hey, hey Rylan. Oh, I love Janice and Sean. I'm telling you, I'm gonna knock on their door one time. My detective skills will kick in. I will find them. Yeah, let's see. What was I talking about? I don't know what I was talking about. What was I talking about, Rebecca? The egg hunt. The egg hunt. Do you need is that what you need to talk about? No. We were talking about family gatherings. We're gonna talk about the egg hunt. Oh, oh, oh. She just doesn't do something else to talk about. Oh, 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 oh. No, let me get back to Billy and Terry. You know, I don't know why, but me and Bill. I don't know. I I just wondered if we actually belong to the family. I don't, you know, I don't know. Terry, Terry was like royalty. She is not going to show up. No, I'm not. I might. No, I'm not. But I might. Let's see. What else we're going to talk about? Oh, the egg hunt. Oh, we had the best Easter egg hunt. We did. I think I did a video on it. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. Um, it, you know, Eli found the boy, the guy egg and, McKenna, my niece, found the, the girl leg. And, oh, welcome back, Cindy. You ain't missed nothing. I've been kind of froze up. <laughs> froze up? Yeah, I've been froze up. <laughs> I'm, I should have took that nerve pill. I know I should have, but I didn't. I didn't. Let's see. What else? Oh, um, tonight, Eli, last night, when he got off work, he had, um, I guess they had a big shindig at his work, and he brought some uh, leftover raw meat. He said, I got some raw meat, some raw chicken. Y'all want it? Well, first of all, I need a little explanation. Is it like raw? Did you run over it with the car or <laughs> did you get it from the store? Well, I you know, think my question was, did you wring its neck? You did know? You, I mean, how, I mean, raw meat could just be just about any way you can do. But um, anyway, they had a big shame. It was already marinated and Chris put it on the grill tonight. Well, while Rebecca is here, um, she, had, she had a busy day today. She had to take Juniper to, to the doctor's office. And when she got here, Somebody called her that used to live in Indonesia and said Rebecca lived in Indonesia. Now it turns out this lady, this this lady from Indonesia, she married into the Perkins family. So she's actually married into You to, was a per Perkins. I was a Perkins to the to my people. So she brought Rebecca some Indonesian food. I mean a spread. So we had 
we had the chicken wings and little maybe back rib things and fried french fries and fried okra and oh stew squash or saute squash hey clifford mommy's in here and then um then all this indonesian food. i'm fixing to get in there and taste some indonesian food i don't know if i've ever had indonesian food i don't, I don't know yeah i don't know i know when uh rebecca went over to hello cleo he don't want to be on YouTube. <laughs> oh, I let me tell you, I lied. I didn't what? intend. I didn't intend to lie. I I sent my children a message saying, "Y'all gonna be on YouTube tonight. Y'all my guest stars." Well, guess what? They not. They didn't want to. Mega said. I'll be too too nervous. Now this child, <laughs> this child got up in front of thousands and thousands and thousands of people in Indonesia and gave a conference in another language, but she can't speak English for her mom and here at the <laughs> kitchen table. And I ain't even gonna Eli. <laughs> Eli's hiding in there. He won't even come near me. <laughs> yeah, I do. Oh yes. It Hmm. Yeah. Some of it was good and some of it wasn't. Yeah. I remember Rebecca, and I did the same for Eli when he was living in what whatever country he was at the time. But I would send um what do you call it? Candy boxes, gift boxes. And I would go and I'd buy. And then, you know, Rebecca, she could she could um was it FaceTime, Rebecca? Yep. You could FaceTime me? No, it's guy. No, Eli was Skype. Eli was Skype when he was in Africa. But Rebecca could FaceTime me. And she'd be FaceTime and she'd be eating some candy. And Nathan, Nathan was like, wait, where did, where? And I would say something like, did y'all wait, did you share that candy with Nathan? And Nathan's going, what candy? What candy? And Rebecca would just eat it. And she'd be hiding it all over the place. <laughs> That's not lies. Poor Nathan. I'd have to, I'd have to send a message and I'd say, Nathan. I am sending you such and such and such. And <laughs> that way he knew whenever the box came that there was something in there for him because she would hide it. She would hide it. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Now with Eli, <clears throat> Sylvia, it says message redacted. What do you do? What do you do? Uh, Eli, whenever he was, he worked in Indonesia. No, Eli worked in Nicaragua. He, he was the interpreter for the country, I mean, for the company. And I forgot, was it Sierra? I may not already mention it. it oh, a, never mind. May, may not should say it. It was a mountain, mountain rock climbing. They made the hammocks that hang off the yeah. rocks. And so the, he, he was the um, interpreter for this company when they went to Nicaragua and set up the company there. And I and would, the photographer. Oh, he was also the photographer. And also the test dummy. And the test dummy. <laughs> but I sent him, I would send him stuff because, you know, when you're down there, you, and you don't have the comforts of home that you have up here. Now, granted, you know, we're not rich, but I would send boxes and the, and the stuff in the boxes would be like, you know, $80.00. I get it at Walmart and stuff and out of my cabinet. And but you know, to ship it there would About be like that. it'd be like, you know, 150. Oh, was it? Yeah, it was it was, it was a lot, yeah. But one time I I sent and I would group things like one time I'd send him everything for pancakes. You know, I'd send him three types of syrup and a couple of boxes of pancake mix. And that way when he would get it, he would have the comfort of home. Night, good night, Allison. Yes, I heard they're not doing their unboxing anymore. I'm sad. I'm sad. But anyway, he got down there to pick up his box, and I think it had to go by cargo ship. I I can't remember, but he went down to the to pick up that big old box. It was a huge box of food, and everything was out. And everybody was mad at Eli. Apparently that syrup 
bottle had busted. <laughs> and that. it got syrup on everything and everybody in customs. And so I, I couldn't send syrup anymore. <laughs> Yeah. Mom, they hate me down there at customs. Don't send no more syrup. Yeah. yeah. Let's oh, we got 16 people. Hi, y'all. Hey, we need some more public subscribers. watch hours. Subscribers to the and subscribers. We need public watch hours. So if you don't mind, y'all sit down tonight, tomorrow, next day, whatever, and just watch. Watch all our stuff. You don't have to like it, just watch it. But, but you, you can, can like it. Yeah, you. I mean, you don't have to enjoy it, but like it. Just click that little like button because we're trying to retire here. Is that something like your mama told you? You're going to sit down there and you're going to like it? <laughs> you're going to like it. You know what? Now, I grew up with the with the philosophy. Well, mama's and daddy's philosophy. You're going to try everything once. Well, that's what I gave my children. You're going to try everything once. What I grew up with was... You're going to eat it or starve. And I don't know why my daddy liked fried oysters. I guess it went great with beer. I don't know. <laughs> but he would fry them or mama fry them oysters. And we have to sit there and eat Now Me and Billy did. Now Terry did. We had set that little table. We'd stare at it because you're going to sit there in that table till you eat it. And we'd stare at it. And we'd put ketchup on it. Oh, good gracious. I could just still taste it to this day. Then we got wise. The garbage can had a flip top lid. It just flip, 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 you know. And I could chunk it to Billy. And Billy could chunk it in the garbage can. So, you know, that's that's the only way we got rid of orchard. And same with, <laughs> same with fried gizzards. Who thought of that? I mean, that's, I don't, I never was much on gizzards. You know? Yeah. Mm -mm. No. Or fried oil. Uh -uh. What is that? Probably orange slices are banned around. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He has not eaten another orange slice at all. At all. Let's see. What else can we talk about? You asking me? Yeah. I'm, I thought I'm, you had a list. Well, I don't went over the list. Oh. I don't went over it. It was a short list. You never told about the egg hunt and how we hit it and where we couldn't find it. Yes, it was. Now I did a video on it, but we uh, one of the one of the smart kids <laughs> took decided to take some tape. So Rebecca was a, we, Rebecca hosted it. She hosted everything. My house not big enough, so she took some tape and they taped that prize egg inside, inside the fence. The fence. And you can go wood back. And, oh yeah, wood fist. You can go back and you can look at that video. But they, they like to never found that egg. <laughs> they like to never found it, and we just loved it. We just now I hear that my my sister has tell, has uh, sent me a message that the boys have already started thinking about whether where they're going to hide next year's egg. Oh yep. yeah. We may need we may need gloves and I don't know one of those. Hazard suits <laughs> to find, <laughs> Hazard to find next, suits. yeah, find next, uh, next year's egg. Mm -mm -mm. All right, what else we got? Favorite grocery store and restaurant. Oh, wait, what's Sandra say? Fried zucchini is great. Mm -hmm. Have you heard of the Christian fiction writer Francine Rivers and her book? No, I haven't. The Scarlet Thread. Uh -uh. I hadn't read that one. Now, fried zucchini. Now, I love fried squash, uh, squash patties. Now, I have not, I've yet to make squash patties, but Nathan makes squash patties, and they're pretty good. I like zucchini. Can't imagine why Terry was the favorite. Yeah, I can. She was the baby. Terry was the baby on both sides, on my mama's side and on my daddy's side. And she got her way just about every time she turned around. Yeah. Mm. Oh my goodness, it's just 35 minutes. Yes. Let me uh let me show you some of this Indonesian food. I've never had Indonesian food, except for that 
horrible candy that Rebecca sent us. And hey, Cliff, what's wrong? Where are you going, Chris? I was going to get that first. Come in, Cliff. Fried green tomatoes. Now, I have had some fried green tomatoes. It's not my favorite, but I have had it. Yeah. All right, here we go. This is what? So that's glass noodles with veggies. Glass noodles? Glass noodles. Glass noodles. Look at that. They're probably really good. It's glass noodles with veggies. And what's this? What's this? I'm not sure. Meat stuff. Chicken curry. Chicken, Chicken curry. curry. Can y'all see that? We're going to have some good of this in a little bit. Is this curry soup? <sighs> curry soup? Mm -hmm. Like a vegetable curry soup? Curry soup. Rice. What's the rice go to? Everything. Everything. Rice. <laughs> and there's some more stuff. It's coming. I um. Oh, where's the chips? That's kind of cute. I can't believe we have Indonesia food. I'll let you know tomorrow if I like it. Oh, now this is. Some little chips. Some little chips. Look at these little chips. Got a crew hook. What? A crew hook. Look, crew hook. Crew hook. Crew hook. Crew hook. Yeah. It starts out small, and then when you fry it, it turns out looking. Look at that. You put it in soups. Hey, Eli. Hey. How are you? <laughs> Here's My, another shrimp. What is this? I didn't, I it's didn't a, see it's this. this. It's the shrimp one. Oh, that's the shrimp? Yeah. It starts out really tiny. And then some egg rolls. So we're going to have all of this stuff in a little bit. That's pretty neat. You know, getting back to the formaldehyde and and us not being smart growing up. I remember <laughs> I remember one time, you know, remember Daddy was a drinking man. And in his drinking logic, you know, we lived in the trailer park, and in his drinking logic, I got I got a D in English. I kid you not. I know that's shocking, but I got a D in English. And there was a man like four or five trailers down that came over from Saudi Arabia and he was going to USM. Where, where, where does couscous come from? Couscous. Is that Saudi Arabian? I'm not sure. Anyway, they, um, he came over from Saudi Arabia and he was going to USM and he was going to, he's, lear he's learning English. Now in my daddy's infinite wisdom, he was, he had, Knocked back a few. He got to talking to this soon to be English scholar. And he decided that that was going to be my tutor because I was not going to get another D in English. Well, I have, you know, I had a whole semester of half my lesson in English and the other half in Saudi Arabia. Now, you think that I didn't get. <coughs> I, I yeah, a little accent. <laughs> well, I just didn't understand English. I, I I was worse at English than coming out than I was going in. But I didn't get no D. You can give me some extra credit or something. <laughs> I don't know where John, Shan, Janice and Sean is today. They probably they probably going. Ooh, let's see if we can distance ourselves from them. Let's <laughs> let's step back, Sean. Let's step back. We don't want to lose people. <laughs> But yeah, I you know, Daddy done a lot of stuff in his uh, in his drinking days. Yeah, that's why I don't drink. Mm -mm. Yeah, I can I know I know what can happen, but I don't judge anybody that does. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Well, let's see. Should we wrap this up or should we go a little bit longer? Y'all hanging with me? All seventeen of y'all. Thank y'all for stopping by. Let's see. Oh, Morocco is where the well. I will tell you one thing: the oh, uh, the English, my English tutor, they invited us to supper, and we had a Saudi Arabian meal, and it was couscous. And then you put this spicy sauce on top of it. Yeah, now the couscous was fine. Now I will tell you the dessert she made was excellent, excellent. It was. It was what kind of like a fried tortilla type thing with 
honey on it or something like that. It was very good. Very good. Uh, Cindy says, couscous comes from Morocco. Was Morocco near Saudi Arabia? No, not really. <laughs> so no. Arabic. Saudi Arabic. Saudi Arabia. Did I say Arabic? Arabic is just a... Oh, that's the language. There we go. Yeah. So, I think it was the formaldehyde because I, I was probably meant to be smart. <laughs> Mama done washed all my smartness <laughs> off. Let's see. Oh, Sarah my. S. First time here. Oh, Sarah. Let me go ahead and apologize. Let's <sighs> see. Growing up in that kind of environment is tough. Yeah, buddy. Made me who I am today. A writer. <laughs> I tell you one time, you know, and this was after Nettie passed. We, we would, um, we heard this loud commotion. Boom. And we all, you know, peeping out like Gladys Kravis and, and mama opened the door and, and we had to call the law. There was a, a, a car that had driven into one of the trailers across the street. And so we reported because we're good. We want to report things like that. And we called the sheriff's department. Here they come. They knock on our door. And, and I said, and we walk with him over there because, you know, we're back up. And we walk over <laughs> there with him. Now, I'm, I'm in high school. Well, maybe high school. I don't know. Yeah, I was because I was driving. So, I, yeah, I was in high school. So we... um. We walk over there with the sheriff's department. He's got a flashlight and he's shining it in the car because surely there's got to be somebody dead in there. They just drove through a trailer. And we get closer and uh, I leaned over to Billy and I said, Billy, that's our car. <laughs> got about that. Yeah, <laughs> we had called the law on ourselves. Our car was an old car. And so he's you know, Mama hadn't noticed it yet. Mama hadn't noticed it was our car. And I was like, well, I got to leave. I'm going to have to pack my bags because I was the last one to drive it. It was a big old white LTD land yacht. And it was old. And she was, the only saving grace that I had was the door was locked. It was in gear. But it had slipped out of something. It was in park. Oh, Eli must be leaving. It was, it was in park. Yeah, I'm sorry. It was in park and it had slipped out. And she, I'm just, you know, me and Billy, look, we looked at that car and we looked back at our trailer and our car wasn't in a little parking space, the designated parking space anymore. I don't, I don't know. I popped guess, out of gear. I guess it popped out of gear, but. We called the law on yourself. Called the law on ourselves. We'd known it was our car. We had to back that baby up and, for, and turn the lights out and go to sleep because I didn't want to go to jail. But no. If you like these stories, please read my first book. Yes, please read my first book. Yep. Let's see what else. Sean and Janice said they had a busy week and have family coming in for the eclipse and don't even have their own. Didn't have, yeah, yeah, they're really busy. I had a job of driving Diddy one night. It was lightly snowing, so I was being very careful. I'll never forget, he started in about car racing. I was going maybe 20, 25. <laughs> Speaking of snow, I thought about this. We, we, you know, took the, we had a, we had upgraded the camper. So we had a long camper. We had a 30 foot camper. New camper. New camper. We bought a new camper. We paid for it for like, you know, 22 years. Oh, <laughs> it felt like it, you know, 100 a month for 22 years. No. But we went to <clears throat> Ski uh, Apache. Yes, Ski Apache. In Rio Dosa, New Mexico. And we had called ahead of time. We talked to. Thank you, Rhonda, for loving the stories. We called ahead of time and we're like, are you real close to Ski Apache? Because that's where we're going to be skiing. And of course, he said yes. And only if we were crows, you know. <laughs> but for everybody else driving cars, you had to go like, it took forever to get there. But we didn't. 
park there. Now, let me tell you why we didn't park there. Now, remember, we just come through Texas, and it, it wasn't it wasn't cold. I still had I had the little Keds on, only they weren't Keds; they were the Walmart version. And I had little crop blue jean pants. You know what I'm talking about? They come to your knees, they little elastic waist, and a short sleeve shirt. Because you know we were in the car, and we get there, and we are going up this hill, and up mountain, mountain, hill. mountain. And the truck won't go no further. It stopped. Now we're starting to slide back. So I get out of the car and I drop into the snowbank. I literally, the road was not big enough for our truck. So when I got out of the car and dropped down, it was dark at that time, wasn't it? I think so. I was, I was down in the ditch with my little walmart kids now this is where it gets this is where this is where it gets good because the little man who swore to us that we he was the nearest campground to the ski apache and that our truck wouldn't have any trouble coming up his mountain and he come down that mountain because we called him. We're stuck. You know, we, we can't, we're sliding down the mountain. And he he gets down there. You know what that man does? He chews us out for blocking his driveway. Now, let me tell you. Mississippi man come out. <laughs> he said. Me and Klaus all oh, was. Klaus. It was Klaus. You know, he said, he said, you don't have to move that camper in that trailer. You're blocking my driveway. People trying to get in here. I said, well, we was trying to get in here, too, because we got reservations. But you didn't, you you wasn't very accurate with your, what, I don't know. It's like straight up hill. But so we slid back down the hill. I said, I think you told that man, listen, Bubba, you get me get out of this place. And you won't ever see us again. I'm not sure what I told him. Well, it, it was <laughs> it was more colorful for that. But, yeah. Pedal pushers is what they're. That's right, Cindy. That's right. Let's see. I remember my daddy was teaching me to drive the Volkswagen, <clears throat> and it was morning time. He hadn't popped the top yet, and we was, But he did light up. He did light up because we went up a little hill. In the Volkswagen, and when you're learning to drive a clutch, mm -hmm. standard, you, standard, you will roll back. You will roll back until you until you get the hang of it. Yeah, Daddy was like, he just flipped out and started lighting a cigarette right then and there. If he'd had a beer, he would have popped it. I'm I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> Before that trip was over, Penny Lot, she was my D O N. Uh, now, I wasn't a nurse with Penny. I was the secretary with Penny. Let's see. There's a song in there. We are sliding down the mountain and sliding down the mountain. And we are sliding down the mountain. Oh, I didn't know. I, I ain't going to charge off for that song. <laughs> Penny Lott, I'm so glad you're here, Penny. Penny got to witness. Penny's known me for a while. We were on the same, what do you call that place? Uh, I know it's an internet thing. Social media thing. Uh, my Hattiesburg. What do you call that thing? I don't. It's way back when it first started. It is for Facebook. Forum. There we go. See, I, she's smart back there. If I hadn't had my mouth had in my head, I probably could thought of that word. Let's see. But yeah, Penny. Penny is a nurse, smart as a doctor. I'm so glad she's here. So glad. In fact, her daughter is going to be a doctor. Sure is. Really? Yeah. So, in fact, Penny, is your daughter already graduated med school? Let's see. I'm telling you, Penny's mama didn't use formaldehyde. She was smart and then her kids were smart. <laughs> Let's see. I burned the clutch out of my husband's then boyfriend's car when we were dating. Mm -hmm. He still married me 32 years later, but yep. I... Oh, she's halfway through. Yep. Yep. Let's see. What else are we going to talk about? Are we getting close? Oh, we got 10 more minutes. Can y'all hang in 10 more minutes? 
I don't want to wrap this thing up and be a failure. <clears throat> what else? We talked about the food. We talked about the orange slices. Let's talk about Billy and the dog, the rope and the dog. We did his new rope. Oh, my goodness. Do I have time to talk about that? Now, all these stories I'm telling you, most of them are in my book. So, y'all buy the books. But I, we, we lived in the trailer park. I'm going to say it again. And one of the, one of my brother's friends, he lived down the road. Now, his parents, his grandparents lived up north where there's snow. And there wasn't much snow, snow down here in Mississippi. But anyway. South Mississippi. South Mississippi. But his, grand, his grandparents bought him a sleigh. Sled. Sled. Not a sled. That's pulled by a horse. Okay. What are you uh, doing? A sled. Yeah, sled. Let me back this up and preference it by this. My daddy had a tool shed. It was a shed. It had all his tools. He had a pegboard on the wall, and each tool had an outline with a sharpie, a black sharpie, so he knew what was missing at all times. And he just bought him a new rope. Well, he told us, in no uncertain terms, do not mess with my new rope. I ain't going to mess with it. I ain't got no need to mess with it. But Billy messed with it. <laughs> the sled. The sled. They decided to round up all the dogs, the stray dogs in the trailer park. And they were going to... No. No. A horse. It was a horse. Yes. That is right. It was a horse. There was a horse that mysteriously was tied up in the trailer park. Just tied up. Don't know where it came from. There it was. And for little boys in a trailer park, that was too tempting to let go. So they were gonna they were gonna rope the horse. Got the horse, tied they it up to the pull the sled yeah, with the horse. Got got the rope around and they were gonna pull the sled and they would all get on the sled. And the horse wouldn't move. They get off the sled, horse would move. Get on the sled, horse wouldn't move. Well, one of those times they got off, that horse took off. Daddy's new rope's there too. Daddy's new rope is pulling the sled, and the, the horse is dragging the sled, and it goes out of the trailer park and down the road. And they finally, they finally caught that. They, they finally got the got Daddy's new rope back in it. What is it? pristine condition as it was but then they decided to round up all the dogs the stray dogs and and lucky for them there was this um female dog and for some reason billy said there was all kind <laughs> of dogs following her so it was yeah. real easy to gather them up so they tied all the dogs up and they had made them a dog sledding team well as soon as they got them dogs tied up and they were getting ready to go with no snow, they were getting ready to go. <clears throat> That's when that mama dog, the, the female dog, decided she had had enough of all these boys hanging around her. Now, I'm not going to tell you why those boys were hanging around. Now, I'm pretty sure y'all know. Them dogs got to fighting, and they're all tied together. And those boys jumped in there trying to untie Daddy's rope. Well, somebody had a knife, and Billy's like, don't you cut Daddy's rope? And, but they had to. They had to cut it. So Daddy's rope went from new to ragged to in like 15 pieces before they got <laughs> those. 15 ropes. He had 15 little ropes, <laughs> and he put that back in there. <laughs> Needless to say, Daddy, Daddy. um Wasn't happy. He wasn't happy. Wasn't happy. But, you know, we had lots of things in the trailer park, just. It just made you who you are. Now, life of luxury over here. He grew up different. Yeah. Luxury. What? Yeah. Let's see. What is this? In? Chris, how's your side from the lat? The ladder. Oh, from the ladder. Oh, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, he was he's good. Oh, and also, you know, he has been sore from the, the car wreck. And then the trailer landed on him. And then the the fall in the kitchen when he slipped because he was picked, he had to have mopped up the gumbo. 
to the falling out of the shed. Well, I usually don't fall. I don't know. I've been on a roll the last you month. You have been on a roll. I think you may need a walker. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm ready to retire. So. No, no. You yeah. just have to take the walker with you. <laughs> I Hello, have been Debbie on a roll by falling then. You are. I feel like my mom might be trying to take you out. No, I'm not. If I took him out, I'd have to get a job, and I don't want to do that. <laughs> I might need to check on my life insurance. See if she paid it up or something. Penny, he is going to break a hip. Yes, he is. Which book should I begin with? And I'm ordering tonight. Tina, thank you. We can pay the light bill next month. Go ahead, Tina. Buy several. <laughs> buy your friends. Mother's Day's well, coming up. She didn't probably, ask her. Uh, probably just a little Southern. That was my the very pink first book. The pink book. Just listen. You can see it right there. Yeah. See that pink book? That's my. It was my one of the first editions there. But yeah, I, I love writing, and I don't know. I told the doctor yesterday. I said I'm still in a writer's block, and I don't know why. So I'm so happy to have YouTube now. I really am because it's kind of you know I get to talk and. Well, I get to talk every day anyway, but <laughs> well, I'm I glad to you have it because you don't drive me crazy I know, every night. Man. I know, I know, I know. Penny, you need to read that book one second after. You need to read it. It's good. It's very good. Of course, Penny, Penny has chickens and and she lives on a, uh, she lives in the country. Yeah. What is it, Cliff? What's going He's on? He's playing, I think. Well, let's say, oh, it's 757. We still got 17 people. Oh, bless you. Thank you for staying. <laughs> let's see. Let's see. What, Rebecca? I don't want to say good night until we get to eight o'clock. I'll be defeated if I don't make it to eight. Y'all just hang around. What y'all want to talk about? I got I got I'm three more minutes. Eat. Oh, we're gonna eat in just a minute. Or three minutes. Or three minutes. Let's see. What else we want to talk about? Penny, you need to watch last week. Is a little bit more funnier. I think I'm just froze up tonight. A little more funnier. Well, that English is coming in. Huh? Formaldehyde. I'm telling you. Come here, You want to get on YouTube? Oh, Rebecca. You see what I have to put up with? Let's see. Tina, when you get through with that one, do just a little more Southern. Then pea patches and butterbean fields. Let's see. That is money. Um, Daddy's Money. Now, Daddy's Money is one of those fiction books. I said false books last time. False oh, books. <laughs> and thank you for ordering it. Let's see. What else can we talk about? We got two more minutes. Hurry up. Think of something. Quick. If I can get caught at work, I'm going fishing Friday. Do we have anything Friday? No. I'm talking about if I get caught up at work tomorrow, I'm going fishing Friday. Oh, yes. Then, if you need your air condition fixed. You trying to not catch me up. Huh? Kill me. Kill me. Give me a call. Let's see. I don't know Sarah Addison Allen. I don't know. But there again, I have been. I don't know why it is. I, I just can't. Can't well, you, read. How many books you got? Uh, about seven. Seven. Yeah, about seven. Wear a life jacket, Cindy says. <laughs> yeah. Cindy already, welcome to the family, Cindy. You already have figured us out. <laughs> I can um, now I'm going to get it from you, too. I already get it from her. So. And skip the boots, Rhonda said. Yep. Oh, my goodness. So they are, they are listening. Y'all are listening. I'm so excited. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, All right. Okay, we got peace out. Well, where are you going to eat? I'm Hungry? going to eat. Well, I'm going to eat too. What are you doing, All right. I guess I will sign off. Y'all do come back next week. I'll try to think something else to. Thank you for the entertaining evening, Wizard of Oz. Well, I didn't see you, Wizard of Oz. Thank you for being here. And Kathy, heaven, heavenly. Oh, I'm so glad you liked it. Cindy, I'm so glad you were here. And Cindy, you just already know us. I'm so glad you liked it, Tina. Thank you for reading. Susie, bye. Sarah, bye. 
he might be withering away without box. There's a little, I can't read all of it because there's a little heart covering it up. Okay. He might be withering away without Fox. I don't know what that means. Rhonda, help me out. Dumb it down a little bit. Oh, well. Night, Debbie. All right. That's it. It's 8 o'clock. And I guess I will. Oh, there's my office back there. I should have told y'all. There's my office. That's my writing office back there. Good night, Penny. Thank you for coming. Good night, Sandra. Yeah, one day I'm going to show you my office back there and show you all my books. I showed you my books last time, didn't I? Yeah, I did. I'm so glad y'all came. Thank you, Sandra. Love you too, girl. All right. Let's press the let's press this in button. My arm ain't long enough. I gotta bring it in. See y'all. Well, it's not going away. Oh wait, man, I gotta do it this way. Okay, it's not a touch screen. I forgot about that. There we go. Got it. Nope, you're not finished. Your stream is not. So hit in.